Ben man, Kevo, we back. Yes, sir. <laughs> man, how you doing? We're doing pretty good, gang. Trying to get right. <laughs> man, a lot has happened, you know, since we did our last interview. And of course, you know, a lot of people have been, you know, requesting a brand new Ben Man Kevo interview, man. The most highly viewed interviewer, you know, on Say Cheese. <laughs> yeah, I've seen. That's crazy. Yeah, we finna turn up though, man. Yeah, nah, for sure. So, you know, since we last uh, spoke, you know, you told me even, you know, after the interview, you was like, man, I'm about to start me on OnlyFans. Yeah. Man, you started on OnlyFans. Yeah. And, you know, speak on that on, that whole thing, because when you first announced it, people looked at you crazy. Yeah. So basically what I did was um, I noticed with the interviews, a lot of people ask me questions on like... um you know, how to do this, how to do that, what should I do? You know what I'm saying? So remember I told you like, man, I'ma just like give more tips on OnlyFans or whatever on like how should they fix their credit, how should they get a business, how to, you know, little simple stuff, but stuff that people need to know about, you know, little secrets to, you know, that's going on around that people don't know about. So I was just like, I started OnlyFans. And remember the first day I started, I made 10,000. I'm like, damn, second day, 20,000, third day, 30,000, you know, and it kept going up. Like, as of right now, I'm at like damn near 400,000, and I started it at the end of August. You feel me? So it's pretty, it's, it's been going pretty well, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like, um, as far as the OnlyFans, I'm almost like, I'm at 0.02%. You feel me? Out of everybody earnings who's making money on OnlyFans, I'm probably like one of the top people on OnlyFans. Which I seen like a weird ass list that they put out saying that who makes the most money on there, and I'm definitely making over a hundred thousand dollars a month off there. So I don't see how I wasn't on there, but it was all good. That's insane, man. So you start up the OnlyFans, and you're you're having no clue that you're gonna even make a, a penny. Right. I I didn't even. I was just starting it just to help a few little, you know, like a few little people out that be asking me questions. I'm like, I might as well get paid because. I sit in my DM, just DMing people back, just telling them shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, I could charge for this. Like, that's why I was telling you, like, I should go ahead and come out with the book and do the courses and stuff like that. Cause I mean, plenty of people ask me questions daily to the point it's like irritating, right? So I'm just right. like, okay, well, if they really want to learn, let's see if they really want to learn. Let's see if they pay this little fee. You know? Right. Okay, so the first day on Instagram, you make 10000 Like, are you sitting back like, yo, like, what the fuck? That's what, like, that's what made, what when thinking? I first made the 10, that's what made me, like, really turn up. Like, man, I'm going to go ahead and give these people information. But how I stalled it out, I'm like, I'm not going to give too much at one time. Every single month, I'm going to give more and more and more and more information on how to do this, how to do that. You know what I mean? I'm not going to get too, like... To, basically, long story short, I'm not going to get illegal on it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep it legally right. to the point where, because everybody think the wave is illegal, but really it's legal. And I'm trying to change and let everybody know that it's really the legal wave that can really make you rich. You just have to stop being, because people think the illegal wave is like the fast, easy. Whether it's legal or illegal, you still have to put a lot of work into getting rich. You feel me? So if it's legal, you still have to work hard. If it's illegal, you still have to work hard. So you might as well work hard on a legal way and still get rich. Most definitely. So, you know, while you teaching, you know, you're, you're giving free game, you know, on OnlyFans and the interviews and, and things of that nature. Do you kind of feel like, you know, the feds or the, the police are, are, are slowly like watching you and, and, and trying to see what game you're giving and, and, and things of that nature? I mean, possibly. I mean, but long as I just look at it like this. First of all, okay, for instance, when I did when I do an interview, right? When I do an interview, I'm giving free game and I'm giving all types of sauce out. I'm just talking on it. So if that was the case, I feel like if I'm gonna do interviews or if I'm gonna talk, I might as well get paid for it anyway. So if they mm. if they are or was or whatever watching, I just feel like I'd rather get paid than just give it out for free. You understand what I'm saying a little bit? Mm -hmm. Even if they I mean, even if they was, it's just like, I'm only thing I'm doing on there is just giving my life and what I've been through. So for instance, if I'm just talking about, yeah, man, well, when I was doing this, this, and this, and I was doing this and, you know, me and people, I was, I'm basically not giving you no tutorials or no, doing no crazy ass shit on there, but it's basically just 
just game. It ain't no crazy sauce that's like me incriminating myself. You understand what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. Yeah. Um, now, you know, earlier this year, a lot of people, they frowned upon, you know, OnlyFans. I even remember when you first announced it on your Twitter and we posted it on Say Cheese and a lot of people started laughing at you. Yeah. And then we posted, you made 10,000. Then we posted, you made 100,000 in a week. And then the 200 grand. And then a lot of, you see a lot of celebrities after you and yeah, right after me. Yeah, like, right after me. Remember, wasn't nobody doing it. They was all, man, OnlyFans do this. They was making fun of it. Go make OnlyFans and... Da, 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 and then they was talking about all the females who did it and all this. Now everybody and they daddy G just want to start making the OnlyFans. Now that's what that tell you, bro. Like they watching, bro. You feel me? People are watching. They they see like, damn, this nigga smart as hell. He just did this in this way. Now every single body doing it, bro. Everybody. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, at first it was everybody thought it was just for sex and nudes and. But, you know, originally, people don't know, OnlyFans was really for um, gamers. You know, yeah, it, was, it was for really, video honest, gamers. Like, and it's then, like Twitch and all the rest of that stuff, bro. Like, yeah. you can, I can, I can literally get on Twitch and make 100, 200, 300,000. You know why? Because I don't have to go on there and game. I can go on there and tell people, man, I'm live streaming and talk about this, 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 and this. Right or wrong? Right. Easily. I can, I can just say, you know what, I'm finna, I'm finna make a Twitch. And I'm finna, y'all catch me every Thursday, man. I'm finna just be on there just answering questions. Whatever y'all want me to answer, I'm gonna just be on there live streaming talking about it, man. Y'all catch me on there. Because basically, I'm going live on Instagram, and I'm getting 1,000 viewers. I'm getting 2,000 viewers. And if people be asking me stuff, I might answer back, but I might as well make a Twitch and get paid for it. Right. You know what I mean? Um. And, and speaking of Twitch, you know, Soldier Boy, he's hardly even on social media nowadays, he's only on Twitch. That's, and I feel like that's where he getting a lot of his bread from too. Yes, that's the money, bro. That's what we got to start. What we got to do is we got to like, I, like I love Instagram, but I feel like if they want to help us, they should monetize all these apps. You know what I'm saying? Everybody who is grinding, who is doing what they need to do, they just need to monetize everything that we do on social media sites, on platforms. People have millions of followers. They should get paid for even just logging into the apps, just like Facebook page. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You have to do certain little things, but they have little clickbait sites that you can post and you get all this money for people going to see after they've seen the post that you made. You understand what I'm saying? So I think yeah. Instagram should do the same type of thing since it's linked to Facebook. Yeah. So w what's your goal with OnlyFans? Because, I mean, you said earlier that you made 400 grand. Are you flipping that money? Or are you waiting for it to get to a million dollars? Like, what's your what's your I'm, ultimate I'm goal really, with OnlyFans? I'm really waiting on it to get to, like, a million dollars. And then um, what I'm going to do is I'm working on these uh, courses, these build-out courses. So I linked up with a few people. And basically, we're trying to come up with, like, some packages, you know, of courses that we can basically sell ranging from 800 all the way up to 2500 along with a book, you know what I'm saying? And I just feel like I'm just trying to, like I, like, I, like me and you know, I, I be talking about music. I'm going to drop a lot of music, but I want to do everything right, like I told you. You see how, like, my progression, you know, like, as me moving forward, you see everything going higher, higher, and higher, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm succeeding, yep. so I feel like if I keep doing what I'm doing, I'm going to bust into that market regardless, but... If I can take over two lanes, you know what I'm saying, and be the biggest in two lanes, I'll be unstoppable, bro. You word, word up. Because you don't really see, you, you, th those are Jay-Z type of P. Diddy vibes. Once you start tapping into these other lanes, you open bigger doors. You know what I'm saying? You open different lanes when you start doing stuff like that. Like as far as like the teaching black wealth, helping you know what I'm saying? Just really just giving out good knowledge that some of these kids need to know because they don't have no real um, guidance. You know what I'm saying? So I just feel like if I can be the one that gives, gives them that guidance, not saying that because you got to understand my past. A lot of people know my past. They look, look at my story and say, well, he finessed. He did this, this and did that. Right. But mm -hmm. you should still be inspired of how I fixed it up. You get what I'm saying? You can say right. anybody can say what they want about me, but if I'm if I'm fixing it up to be better, then you should congratulate. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just, it's a lot of people that don't get out and be like me. It's very rare. 